Bill DeMint was born in 1928 and he died on June the 17th, 2020. This is Mayor Krieger. I'm a colleague and friend of Bill's. And I'm going to tell you about some of my interactions with him and tell you about this magnificent human being. Bill was probably, not probably, he was the father of sleep medicine. In the 1950s, he was involved in some of the most important scientific research involving sleep, the most important scientific research involving sleep. He was involved in the discovery of rapid eye movement sleep, and he recorded the first all-night polysomnogram, the first all-night study of, of, of people sleeping. He was also a wonderful mentor and he trained and mentored some of the most important uh, scientists in, in, in sleep. Chuck Seisler um, at Harvard, Mary Mar um, Karskaden at, at, at Brown, Craig Heller at Stanford, and many others. And they, in turn, mentored many other people. Um, so, um, it, so not only is he the father of sleep, he is the grandfather of the current generation of sleep scientists. He is also a magnificent teacher. And as a teacher, he started a, a sleep and dreams course at Stanford almost 50 years ago. And this course became the most popular course ever that was held at Stanford University. He was also a leader. And as a leader, he organized uh, every single uh, sleep society that's in existence today. The American Academy of Sleep Medicine, the Sleep Research Society. He was involved in the founding of the National Sleep Foundation. He was involved in, in creating uh, at the National Institutes of Health um, an entire program that is related to sleep. My interactions with, uh, with uh, Bill go back many, many years. And in 2017, um, uh, I decided to go to Stanford on a sabbatical to learn what it was about his course as a teacher at Stanford um, uh, and why it was so popular. And because I was in the process of starting a course at Yale. So I went to Stanford and, 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 uh, for three months, and I participated in his course as a lecturer. And one of the great parts of, of, of this uh, is going from his house to the lecture hall uh, in this golf cart, the Sleep and Dreams shuttle. And Bill would drive the shuttle, and, 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 and very often students um, in his class would also go with him uh, in the shuttle to class. And everybody on campus recognized Bill as he was driving through the campus. So here is a photograph of Bill's um, um, uh, office. And this photograph actually uh, is, is only part of his office. And sitting, and it looks like it may be very, very disorganized. And, but if you look at this uh, uh, library in a bit of detail and look at a close-up, in the shelf under the category K are these books, The Principles and Practice of Sleep Medicine. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about how this book came to be. Um, and, and that is really what cemented my relationship with Bill DeMint. I first met Bill in 1978. That was the first sleep meeting I ever went to, and it was held at Stanford University. And, uh, and Bill, um, who by that time was a world-renowned scientist, um, uh, it was an honor for me to meet this gentleman. And I gave a presentation on sleep at high altitude, and after my presentation, Bill came over to me and said, my God, you're just a kid. 
and I'm showing you this uh, this book, The Lathe of Heaven, because the keynote at that meeting was the author of this book, Ursula Lagoon. And uh, she gave everybody um, who was at this meeting a copy of her book. She was a, uh, a prize-winning uh, author, <coughs> uh, science, uh, science fiction author. So that was my first meeting with Bill, and I had many other subsequent uh, interactions with him. But the next important interaction occurred in 1985. By 1985, um, uh, I was already on faculty at the University of Manitoba, and, uh, and I realized that there was a huge amount of information that was known about uh, sleep, but it wasn't consolidated anywhere. And I thought, well, it must be time for there to be a book about, about uh, clinical aspects of, of sleep. And I had a, um, a visit to uh, Stanford in, in, in that year, and, um, and I went specifically to ask Bill, should we have a textbook in that field? He was the father of the field, and should there be a textbook? And this is what he told me, and it, it was cemented in my mind, it was burnished in my mind, you can't have a field without a textbook. One needed to consolidate the knowledge into a place where people could actually um, refer to it. So here are the three amigos. Tom Roth on the right, Bill DeMent in the middle, and me on the left side. And we ended up being the editors of the very first edition of this book, The Principles and Practice of Sleep Medicine. And it took about four years to, for this book to, to go from um, inception, thinking about the book and finding authors, uh, to publication. And this cover uh, uh, believe it or not, at, at the time there wasn't nothing was done digitally because hardly anybody used any computers. So this cover was designed to show the sun and the moon to give a sense of what this field was all about. So the book was finally published in around uh, 1989, and about every five or six years there was another edition of the book. Now, initially, it was published by Saunders, and Saunders in Philadelphia uh, was the premier uh, company dealing with, uh, with uh, textbooks, medical textbooks. And after three editions, uh, the company was taken over by Elsevier, and Elsevier remains today the um, the uh, the publisher of the textbook, and the last edition was just published a short time ago. Uh, a short time ago, uh, and and here's the cover of that book, and that was the book that I showed you on Bill Dement's bookshelf. One of the wonderful things about uh, 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 being involved in a big textbook like this is the number of dramatically fantastic uh, scientists and authors that are out there in the field and allowed us to interact with them. So here are Bill and I with two of the section editors of Principles and Practice of Sleep Medicine, the bearded um, Max Herskowitz and Raphael Paleo. And Raphael um, is, is has been uh, has been really taking charge slowly of the Sleep and Dreams course at Stanford, and will continue this course uh, since uh, Bill has died. So uh, this photograph was taken in 2019 at the sleep meeting, uh, and and uh, what a wonderful person um, Bill Dement is. 
many, many uh, of his admirers came up to him to ask for autographs, to have their selfies taken with him. And it didn't matter who you were, Bill would, would, would engage, he would chat, he would make you feel like you're the most important person in the world. Bill DeMent is my hero. And here was uh, uh, one of the final interactions I had, physical interactions that I had with Bill. This is in, in 2019. Bill was the father of sleep medicine. We were orphaned when he died, but we will continue his work and we will continue to mentor scientists and doctors involved in sleep medicine and we will continue the great work that he started. Thank you.